I don't know about you, but when I saw Step Brothers, there was one thing I made sure of. I would see everything my next guest had anything to do with. Whether she's flustering John C. Riley or nurturing a sex worker, Katherine Hahn delivers an incredible performance every time. Her latest project is no different. Hahn stars in Jason Bateman's directorial debut, Bad Words, where she plays a reporter on the road with Bateman's misanthropic spelling bee contestant. Joining me now, I'm so happy to have the talented Katherine Hahn. Oh, Catherine. A pleasure to meet Thank you. you. So I'm so happy to be in. here. I am so happy to have you here. I couldn't be a bigger fan. Oh, I, got, I got to be honest. So ridiculous and flattering. The most embarrassing thing you ever did in the name of comedy. I mean, wow. Probably. I mean, so many things in uh, Step Brothers, probably. Um, yeah, a lot mm -hmm. of things in Step Brothers, yeah. A lot of and, the things in Step yeah, Brothers? Yeah, 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 and and, well, which I love. That, there's that amazing deleted scene where you stuff baby bok choy down your shirt and have an orgasm. <laughs> And I, I saw that and I was like, I can't believe they deleted the scene. That's almost offensive that she went there this far. There were so many the deleted scenes. Like, yeah. Like so what? Many. Like John C. Riley and I, like, we start to, we were like, start to, <laughs> mother of two, by the way, start to, like, it's like, I'm so ridiculous, start to have sex in the living room and bust through yeah. the door. I think that's in the deleted scenes, yeah. And then we're still doing it, but we're trying to pretend like it's not actually happening. <laughs> was, the, was, the, was the main motivation on that set, on the set of Step Brothers, to see if you could make each other, like, break each other during takes? Oh, it was actually, like, pretty, weirdly enough, it was, like, it was pretty serious business. You had to. You had to run a real tight ship, especially when, around Will Ferrell. Because if you let it go at all, it was going to be really hard to get it back, like laughter-wise. So you mm -hmm. had to be like deathly serious. Really? If, well, if you not deathly, but if you uh, there's no way of coming back. It was really hard. We had some some fits that was like really really difficult to come back from. And John C too. I think he's so extraordinary. We do have a series that we play called TMI. Fine. I'm going to have a sip of my water. We fire some. Make sure you get a shot of her sipping her water, guys. Mm. And we fire questions. Fascinating. At you. <laughs> <laughs> and you just, you respond with the first thought off the top of your head. Oh, you want to. I love it, please. The first one is, what is the biggest misconception you had about sex? Oh. <laughs> um, I thought when I was a child that the, the, <laughs> the, the guy peed inside the person. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I was a fair, that was until I was about 27. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got pregnant. I was like, holy shit. No. <laughs> and uh, it was when you got pregnant that you realized it wasn't, no, he didn't, that it wasn't you urine. You did not urinate at me. That's why, yeah. That hey, was when I was a little girl. Hey, that <laughs> wasn't urine. <laughs> that was uh, when I was a very little girl. The other, I think like very young, we all, that's how we explained it to each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, honest, I would say that's a misconception. Oddest pickup line you've <laughs> ever burns. experienced. We're gonna get to that. I love in a it. Minute. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah. What's the oddest pickup line you've ever experienced or cat call? Uh, someone literally once said to me, "Do you believe in miracles?" As he like leaned in for a smooch, and I remember he had like a huge wad of grape gum in his mouth, and I was like, "This is." He was teaching me how to parallel park, which is not a euphemism. So What's the miracle there? His trapped. kiss. He's gonna be the miracle. I literally think his kiss was gonna be the miracle, and I was like, "This is bad news." You're like, "This is the furthest like, thing from a miracle." I was like, "The the miracle is gonna be me getting out of this car without vomiting." <laughs> Because it was the not great. Me, the miracle would be me being interested in this me kiss. Me kissing was... you with a wad of gum in your mouth, A. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you or a partner ever said in bed? <laughs> oh, no. no. You've got something oh, no, so good. good. You've no. got something so no, good. I'm not going to ever say it. Both my brothers are very well educated. My father was extremely well educated, and they were all political. and uh, So they... They helped me <laughs> with it. 